Hello and welcome to yet another video of Cornerstones of Math. Today we will solve the following problem. If theta is real and secant theta times cosecant theta equals k, express secant square theta plus cosecant square theta, secant theta plus cosecant theta, and secant cube theta plus cosecant cube theta in terms of k. Okay, let's solve this. The key here is smartly using following trigonometric identities. Secant is inverse of cosine, cosecant is inverse of sine, and all time famous cosine square theta plus sine square theta equals 1. First, secant square theta plus cosecant square theta. This comes prior to just secant theta plus cosecant theta, because this one is actually easier. Here, using the inverse relation, secant square theta is 1 over cosine square theta, and cosecant square theta is 1 over sine square theta. Therefore, we have sine square theta plus cosine square theta divided by cosine square theta times sine square theta, and sine square theta plus cosine square theta is 1. So we simply have 1 over cosine square theta sine square theta. Here, inverse of cosine squared is secant squared, and inverse of sine squared is cosecant squared. So we have secant square theta cosecant square theta, which is simply k squared. Next, secant theta plus cosecant theta. Here we need a bit of intuition. Here we attempt to obtain its square first. Why the square? Well, if we expand, you will notice that it contains secant square theta plus cosecant square theta and secant theta cosecant theta. And we have obtained that this is k squared and this is given as k. So we have k squared plus 2k. Therefore, if we take square roots, we obtain secant theta plus cosecant theta equals plus minus square root of k squared plus 2k. So we have two possible values for secant theta plus cosecant theta. But some of you might want to interfere and say, wait, did you just take square root right there? But when we are dealing with only real numbers, we can only take square roots when the inside of radical is non-negative, that is, when k squared plus 2k is non-negative, that is, when k is greater than or equal to 0, or k is less than or equal to minus 2. But what if k is in between minus 2 and 0? Well, from the given condition where k is secant theta cosecant theta, it is 1 over cosine theta sine theta, and by the double angle formula, it is 2 over sine 2 theta. And since sine 2 theta is in between minus 1 and 1, we have k is greater than or equal to 2, or k is less than or equal to minus 2 which is perfectly within our safe spot for taking square roots. In other words, k being greater than minus 2 and less than 0 is impossible. Now for the final part, the sum of cubes. Here we use the famous factorization formula, x cubed plus y cubed equals x plus y times x squared minus xy plus y squared. So we have secant cube theta plus cosecant cube theta equals secant theta plus cosecant theta times secant square theta minus secant theta cosecant theta plus cosecant square theta. So using that this is plus minus square root of k squared plus 2k, and this plus this is k squared, and this is k, we have plus minus square root of k squared plus 2k times k squared minus k, or you can write it as plus minus k squared minus k times square root of k squared plus 2k. And that was all for today's video. 
Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons. And as always, I will see you in another video.